Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be complicated. Let me ask you something. Have you ever tried a reverse martini? They're fantastic. If you're wondering, Paul, what the heck is a reverse martini? Well, it's pretty much in the name. Whereas a standard martini is spirit and then a little bit of vermouth, you are inverting that with a reverse martini where it's a lot of vermouth and a bit of spirit. And the main reason why you do one of these is if you have a great vermouth that you really enjoy and you want that wine flavor to be kind of front and center, whereas the spirit is just going to be backing it up. So without any further ado, let's make a reverse martini. To build the reverse martini, we're going to start with one and three quarters ounces of the vermouth of your choice. Now this usually is used with dry vermouth, but if you want to go ahead and do it with a sweet vermouth, you can do that as well. Though this is what I would generally recommend. Next we're going to add one ounce of vodka. Similarly, if you want something that's a bit more uh, robust in the flavor, you could use gin instead of vodka, but I'm looking to let this vermouth really shine, so that's why I'm using vodka. And last but not least, we're using one bar spoon, which is the equivalent of one teaspoon or five milliliters of maraschino liqueur. I'm gonna give that a quick stir, let it start to dilute. And like you've been hearing me say for years, whenever you're doing a stirred cocktail like this, you're gonna want to taste uh, your mixture as you go along to make sure that you have that right aspect of dilution to spirit. If you don't give it enough water, it's not going to really integrate, and if you give it too much, you've got a watery cocktail. So always remember to taste your cocktail. Needs a little more strain. Straight into the martini glass of your choice. Garnish that with the Luxardo brandy cherry, and easy as that, you have the reverse martini. I love how this really allows the dry vermouth, in this case, to play. The maraschino liqueur brings through a, just a little bit of a bright cherry flavor, and especially if you're looking to not perhaps imbibe a whole lot on a given night, this is a great alternative, because martinis, at least for me, tend to hit pretty hard, especially once you hit your third one. So anyway, let us know what you think, and please remember to always drink responsibly, because everybody likes to make friends, but no one likes to make them in a prison shower or wherever else they're detaining people these days. Stay safe out there. Catch your mom's house. <laughs>